they can come in like little lambs and go out like lions type thing. <laughs> I think the thing is that theatre is a fantastic opportunity to bring together um, diverse groups, a diverse group of people uh, who wouldn't normally meet to create something very positive. And they have to relate to each other through the, through the play, through the script, but they also have to interact informally in between, and that has um, incredible positive benefits. For us when I came along and we would do daft things like party clap and all that which wasn't so bad and then when I was starting to get asked things like today things it was just way out of my comfort zone. Do you know what I mean? I, I was really, I was like, do I really want to be doing this? What am I doing here? But it helped when other people were doing them. Do you know what I mean? I was like, well, they look sorry doing it. So, can I look any worse than them? Because I'm not quite shy. Do you know what I mean? And I get embarrassed dead easy because I've got red hair. My face goes red. Very easy. You can say my name sometimes. My face will go red, you know what I mean? But it helped that other people were doing the silly things that I was getting asked to do. You do get nervous, do you know what I mean? And just before we walk on and stuff, you're like, <laughs> but everybody gets you through it in a way. Because it does, it gives you that extra confidence. Do you know what I mean? Especially if you're like me, that you never thought you would have done anything like that. It's very warm, very friendly, extremely relaxing. And I just could get up in the morning and I could come here. And it was so good for my own health, actually. Just have something to do the focus, the memory of trying to remember lines and moves. It's seriously, I need to do it 24-7. <laughs> this, even just knowing it is around the corner, do you know what I mean? It's a great kind of a thing, and it is, it's the spirit that everybody brings to it. I think it makes it. And I think it's more or less for like an extended family. You know, the, we would see Rainey as being the grandmother, and she tends to take on that role. And the younger members are always very respectful to the older members. That you feel these are your nieces and nephews. That really is one big family. Said we're going for a drink. He coming with us. Ah, sure, I went with them and all. Then we're going for a meal. I went too. They, di they didn't treat me as an old person. I was just one of them. The thing is, they're a very unique group of people. I mean, you. Uh, you wouldn't find uh, that uh, assortment of people with very different lives from each other and from mine and from uh, coming together to make things that they um, and my job I think has been to attempt to reflect that and that's been the, write, the writing projects particularly that we've done with them which we started uh, with uh, Winter Voices which was just doing um, tiny little bits of monologue which I then cut and pasted together and that has developed into a, into a mini industry of fantastically popular shows like um, uh, the Wicked Christmas shows, the Bloody Valentine shows, the Halloween shows. <laughs> they do a show, it, 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 sometimes you think it, it, this group of people will be able to do a show on, on anything at the drop of a hat because what they've, they've turned into, um, it's, it's almost like a, a, a theatre making machine now. They, they just, they just uh, you give them a challenge and they just do it. Um, certain members of the company taking the ball and running with it really. Do, doing, uh, writing their own pieces and performing their own pieces is fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, stuff that they probably previously wouldn't have even considered doing. Because I would, I, I would recommend it to anybody. Do you know what I mean? Just because it does, it gives you that extra confidence. Do you know what I mean? Especially if you're like me, that you never thought you would have done anything like that. I'm really, really, really inspired and empowered about what people can achieve through the means of theatre and I think it's fantastic that um, it's becoming a really powerful force because people need to hear what, what the community company want to say and to do that through the power of theatre is a really, really fantastic uh, medium to do that.
Make a difference in their lives, I think. Probably still be using. I know I'd probably still be using. It's gave me routine and stuff and like a wee bit more discipline. Like because you need to be up for ten o'clock be here at their own time and fix your full day around about it and stuff, rather than just waking up, go looking to do whatever and then, then back up the house, then find another way of getting money to go and just and it's kept me more focused and stuff. It's made my I think I would have relapsed, definitely, if I hadn't known that we had stuff coming up. So Looking after my, both my parents, so I would probably still have been doing that, like full time, day in, day out, where this kind of lightens it up. That's it. <laughs> I'm just doing something for myself, basically. And I think literally, it is really, the reason why I do stay alive, because I don't want to miss the company show. <laughs> it sounds silly, but it's absolutely true, you know, and it helps you get through so many things. I love them all as individual people. I've had some of my favourite moments um, with the community company. I feel really privileged, I feel really privileged. Um, to work with the community company and such a great, interesting group of people. I'm just, I'm just grateful that I did get a chance, do you know what I mean? And that nearly and early day keep in contact and it's just because of the day they've made a big, big impact on my life and I love it. <laughs> I just felt really good that I'd actually done something like that, got up on a stage in front of loads and loads of people and done something. And I felt really good that I hadn't let myself down and everybody else. Because I was terrified in case I was on stage and forgot my lines. Do you know what I mean? But I was just, I think it was more relief than anything else. Oh, I love it. Oh, there's no two ways about it. I love it. I really and truly like it. And mind you, I'm the only one in my family who has ever done anything like this. My ordinary life isn't a good ordinary life, do you know? And so it's, and it just, I'd be gutted, do you know what I mean, if it wasn't there now. And it, it does, it gives me something to look forward to when I know that the shows and that are coming up and stuff, so. And it has gave me a lot more confidence. I've went to college and everyone through being able to do this. And if I can talk to everybody here, I can talk to other people. <laughs> uh, well done, another 10 years, keep going. And let's hope we do bigger and better. It's better. and as relevant and significant um, as any professional production and I think if anybody can have that opportunity to uh, stand confidently on this stage and have something to say then uh, I think that's very special and significant and it's something that I want to see continue happening and growing and that's it.